Hi! This setup might look a little different to non-believers. I might look a little more pale than usual. That's for you to decide. But trust me, everything is normal, everything's fine. Don't worry about it, like, at all. There's more pressing matters at hand. Santa is real, <laughs> and he's homophobic. I don't know how many of you are familiar with the uh, bell-ringing Santas that sit outside of Walmart begging for money for the Salvation Army, almost like a Dark Souls NPC. Do not give them money. If you can't tell just by the name, the Salvation Army is a fundamentalist Christian organization that does do some good charity work, but their mission overall is salvation, and with that comes quite a bit of, um, uh, on top of raising their prices like every other supposedly charitable thrift store has in the last couple of years, Salvation Army, I'm all about paying fair prices at a thrift store, I mean, but I mean, come on. Sound, no picture, retail $1,600? Used on eBay, 880 Needs repaired? <laughs> what? They also give their money to some unsavory sources. Merry Christmas. Now on a scale from conservative legislation to Chick-fil-A, Salvation Army is right about in the middle. Maybe, maybe a little, maybe a little more over here. If you aren't familiar, the Salvation Army is a charity organization that operates with a fundamentalist, Christian, traditionalist lens. And it's so boring, dude, just to like do other stuff. But the difference in supporting a Christian company like In-N-Out versus Salvation Army is the Salvation Army has more direct action. <laughs> him dance up a storm outside of Walmart. Not only do they donate to Christian conservative politicians, but they have actually discriminated against queer people in the past. And last time I checked, that was not good to do. No, no, no. Another big difference between Salvation Army and any other right-wing conservative corporation, all of them are, by the way, is that none of the other ones are standing around ringing a damn bell convincing kids that Santa needs their money. <laughs> Go on, kids, give Santa five dollars. He'll use it to support anti-abortion legislation. You want that, right? Give the money to Santa, he'll ruin your future. I know this might seem a little dark for Christmas time and a funny, silly video, but every year these same fuckers are outside of the Walmart and I never see very many people talking about how actually detrimental they are. It's manipulative, it's stupid, stop! Companies like Salvation Army and Goodwill as well operate on one of the most genius scams imaginable. You guys give me free stuff and then I sell it. Why? Why? <laughs> and thrifting has become more of a popular thing to do, which hurts poorer people who use the Salvation Army for actual clothes that they need. And I'm not blaming people for getting in on a trend, I'm blaming the company for raising the prices. If you look up Salvation Army homophobia, the first result you're gonna get is a statement from them about how they're definitely not homophobic. So, so, spoilers, they uh, put that there. They paid for that to be on the, on the top. They can do that because they're a corporation. They can do whatever they want. All are welcome in love's army. That's a very intimidating thing to call your organization, but regardless, the Salvation Army serves everyone with love, with hope, and without discrimination. Actions speak louder than words is all I'm saying. We embrace people regardless of race, gender, ethnicity, sexual orientation, or gender identity. And that sounds all great on paper, right? We love everybody, one love, we're one race, human race. I don't see color, I don't see uh, gender. I just want to convert you to Christianity. <laughs> like they say that they're open to anyone joining their organization because that's how fundamentalists operate. They're accepting to anyone and everyone because they want to convert you. They want to change you. And this isn't something unique to Christianity. It's any traditionalist mindset. The Salvation Army is committed to serving the LGBTQ plus community through homeless shelters, help with substance abuse, food insecurity, and job training. In the last several years, the Salvation Army has been on a media tirade, insisting over and over and over again through different outlets and interviews that they are not homophobic anymore, guys. We are not homophobic anymore. The Salvation Army Director of Communications in 2019 wrote to a magazine called Out, saying, as we've better understood the needs of the LGBTQ plus community, we've evolved our approach. Every day we provide services such as shelter for the transgender community and resources for homeless youth, 40% of whom identify as gay or transgender. Important to understand that that's not 40% of the people that the Salvation 
Salvation Army assists, but 40% of the overall homeless population. In reality, the number that the Salvation Army actually helps that are queer or trans, probably not that much. I mean, as recently as 2016, the Salvation Army opposed gay marriage being legalized in Australia. This is a global organization that has a lot of pull and a lot of resources. And just because they say they're doing things differently now doesn't really mean anything, especially when they're not working to undo damage that they have on purpose done in the past. The fact that they don't have actual outreach specifically for queer people shows the lack of care for the people that they have caused direct harm to. It's the same exact thing as I don't see color, I don't see race. If you need help, just come get it, guys. You don't need special help as a trans person. There is one specific instance that I found in my research of a dorm in Las Vegas specifically for trans people. That could be really helpful, but it could also be really nefarious depending on how it's run. Homophobia isn't where it stops for the Salvation Army either. They've also historically had a very pro-life position and have used donations to support pro-life politicians and pro-life rallies in the past. Unlike their homophobia, this hasn't really changed as a position. I found an article from catholicstand.com just posing the question if the Salvation Army stands for Catholic pro-life values. This website also has some of the most hilarious ads I've ever seen. Monastery exclusive gifts. A great new biblical adventure story for 10 to 12 year olds. They're, they're writing new biblical stories? <laughs> Can they do that? <laughs> what is the Salvation Army stance on abortion? On the surface, their statement is morally sound. There is acknowledgement that all people are created in the image of God and therefore have unique and intrinsic value. Later in the same section, there are shocking contradictions. The Salvation Army notes that termination can occur when carrying the pregnancy further seriously threatens the life of the mother or diagnostic procedures identify a fetal abnormality causing only a very brief postnatal period. Further, rape and incest also represent special cases for the consideration of termination. These exceptions portray a troubling contradiction. <laughs> this is probably the most acceptable liberal conservative take that you can have as a fundamentalist Christian organization. They're not going to be openly pro-life in the same way a Catholic organization would be because it doesn't play well. At the end of the day, they're still an organization that is trying to spread their message and wants to be as marketable as possible. Simply considering all the good they do is not enough to excuse or set aside this compromise of pro-life principles. A serious commitment to the protection and care of the unborn calls us to a commitment to the prevention of unwanted pregnancy through means such as access to reliable birth control. Yikes. Yet another position not in sync with the Holy Mother Church. This website is awesome. <laughs> and I know that because I'm looking at it on a Catholic website, I'm actually making the Salvation Army look better than they actually are. Sorry. But it coincides with a bigger point that I have in general about charity. Charity only exists because charity doesn't work. We as individuals can funnel our money into certain efforts as much as we want, but individual corporations are never going to have the scope and organization that a government can have. If there were state run stores where people could get clothes for almost nothing, that is actually sustainable. The government doesn't need to make a profit. The government can lose money for the benefit of the people living in it because long term, that's going to help. Corporations, even nonprofits, cannot operate that way. Which is why it's especially frustrating that any open socialist is constantly thrown, oh, just donate your money, just go donate your, give all your money away. To who? Who is going to use it in a way that's going to be effective? You could pull the money of every socialist on YouTube, Twitch, on the planet, really. And that's not going to be enough to do a dent in the amount of damage that capitalism does to people on a daily basis. And charity cannot be the solution to that. The solution to dire problems can never be optional and can never be out of the hands of the people that actually participate in society. Take my taxes, but also take Jeff Bezos' taxes. That guy has a lot of money. If you're thinking about thrifting, please, I insist that you try to at least go to your local thrift stores. Help your actual community. Donate your clothes to them, not these gigantic organizations that use their money for bad things, <laughs> that underpay their workers and have discriminated against them in the past. There are so many better places your resources can go if you actually want to help people. But organizations like Salvation Army and Goodwill present themselves as the easiest, most convenient option, and I don't blame people for using them. But it's important to understand the consequences that these things have. And if you actually want to help people, to know that that's not the answer. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please click like if you had a good time or subscribe for more videos just like this every week. Make sure you tune in for my next video where if you believe, I will appear. Bye!